Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I'm going to bring up a topic here. I want you to think about it. Throughout the years, I've I've known this. I've brought different things up at different points in time. I've even used it in my own case. All these incidences that are happening or has happened, the people sit back and they question why didn't the police do something? Why didn't the government step in and stop the looting, the rioting, the burning, the breaking and entering, all this stuff that's going on under Joe Biden's administration, but also under previous administrations? The question comes down to this. Why did they not do something? Very simple solution. And I'm going to sit here and show you. And this is going to blow your mind. Police have no duty to protect you. Federal court confirms yet again. This isn't the first time. There's a standing rule. The police officers have no duty whatsoever to protect you as an individual or protect you unless, unless you are in physical custody. Other than that, they have no duty to protect you. Now you think about what I just what I'm sitting here saying and what we're gonna go through here. Following last February shooting at Majority Stone Men Douglas High School in Parkersville, Parkland, Florida, said students claimed local government officials were at fault for failing to protect, to failing to provide protection to students. The students filed suit, naming six defendants, including the Brower school district, and the Brower Sheriff Office, as well as school deputy Scott Peterson on campus monitoring Andrew Media. On Monday, though the federal court ruled that the government agency had no constitutional duties to protect students who are not in custody. Now, wait a minute. Think about what this is saying on, on a couple things. Couple things. There's no constitutional duty to protect you. But if your child is in school, he is under care. He is under the custody of the school system. At least that's what the school board is sitting here saying whenever they're trying to vaccinate your children or they're trying to give your children sex education on being perverts. There is no duty to protect your child unless they're in custody. You can't have this both ways when it comes down to school property. But let's Go further on and sit here and read. Neither the Constitution nor state laws imposes a general duty upon police officers or any government official to protect individual person from harm, even when they know the harm will occur, said Daryl Errol Hutchinson, a professor and associate dean at the University of Florida school of law police can only watch someone attack you refuse to intervene and not violate the constitution it's not violating the constitution 
The Supreme Court has repeatedly held that the government has only a duty to protect persons who are in custody, he pointed out. Courts have rejected the argument that students are in custody of school officials while on campus, Mr. Hutchinson said. Custody is narrowly confined to situations where a person lost his or her freedom to move freely and seek assistance on their own, such as prison, jail, and mental institutions. Now, you think about what this is sitting here saying. How is it that the parents are being classified as terrorists when the ruling sits here and says there's no duty? So I now have the right to sit here and tell you what you can teach my children, what you're going to educate my children in. Now, these are decisions. The Supreme Court has made it clear that law enforcement Agencies are not required to provide protection to the citizens who are forced to pay the police for their services. In the case, DeShay versus Winnebago and Town of Castle Rock versus Gonzalez, the Supreme Court has ruled that police agencies are not obligated to provide protection of citizens. In other words, police are well within their rights to pick and choose when to intervene to protect the lives and property of others. Even a clear threat is a peril. Ladies and gentlemen, this becomes a very serious issue. This gentleman up here in New York should have never been charged because he was merely defending himself because there was no obligations and no duties for him to have assistance. It's up to the police to pick and choose. That's the same way with other incidents that has happened in this country. The people are being charged for murder, being charged for assault, where there's no obligation whatsoever by the government to protect the American citizen. Absolutely no obligation whatsoever. Now, give this some serious thought about what we're sitting here saying. These cases right here, I will, I will highlight these and bring them up. These cases right here clearly demonstrate that there is no obligation for protection. So that means it now comes down to self-defense. You have the right to self-defense. This is where I know my spelling's a little rough, but this is where the Castle Doctrine and the Florida Law of was it what Make My Day Law, what Florida has. Castle Doctrine. First, you must justify force to be to defend yourself against another person who is using illegal force against you. You have the right to use deadly force if you have reasonable belief that doing so is necessary to prevent death or seriously bodily harm to yourself or others, or others, others, persons, not just you, other people. 
I've used it for the right to carry. This is a Second Amendment right. This is a Second Amendment right. Castle Doctrine. The Castle Doctrine refers to an exception to the duty to retreat before using deadly force if a party is in their own home. But this also applies out on the street. The use of the doctrine of self-defense, a party who reasonably believes that they are threatened within the immediate use of deadly force can legally respond with a important amount of force to deter the threat. The doctrine itself is subject to various restrictions, which differs from jurisdiction to jurisdiction. But nevertheless, what we're looking at here, what we're looking at, Time and time again, the ruling has been made. There's no duty to defend. There's no duty to protect. The Supreme Court has ruled the police have no specific obligation to protect in a 1989 decision in Deshay versus Winnebago County Department of Social Services. The justices ruled that a social service department has no duty to protect a young boy from an abusive father. They have no duty, but yet they come in and kidnap. It's all about money. It's all about finances. There are a number of postings. Police have no duty to protect public. Ladies and gentlemen, the reason why I'm bringing this up is because of what is going on. Warren versus District of Columbia. In the District of Columbia Court of Appeals, case that held that the police do not owe a Pacific duty to provide protective services to Pacific citizens based on public duty doctrine. You can go through and look this stuff up. It's all over the internet. It's all over what we're looking at. Law enforcement officers have no duty to protect others. Police are not required to protect people in mass shootings. People have, police have no obligation to protect citizens. And it goes on and on and on. Now, the reason why we're bringing this up If they got no duty to protect, they got no duty to provide services. Now we're running into an issue of why we're being pulled over, and it's all about revenue. Again, it goes back. Nobody thinks on these terms. Nobody questions these terms. All these parents that have been put on the terrorist list have every right to challenge the school board because, number one, that school property belongs to the taxpayer because it's taxpayer's money that's paying for it. That's number one. All this goes back to finances. All this goes back to federal funding. Number two, that teacher is being paid by the taxpayer. Makes them a public servant. And if the courts are going to rule, they have no duty to protect your child. That they got no duty to instruct your child of what they're going to teach them. And if you don't like it, we're going to put you on the terrorist list. Think about what's being said. Go back and do the research. This is your Second Amendment right. You have the right to defend yourself. You have the right 
to carry. They don't have the authority. First off, they don't have the authority to violate the Constitution, which is what they're doing. This is why self-education on our side is very important. Knowing the rules and regulations of their duties of what they do and what they do not do is very important to us. Now, this comes back down to some of these other issues. You have no duty to protect the public. Now, think about this one. They have no duty to protect the public. We had COVID-19, right? They had to write, no, the laws are clear. Unless you are in custody, you're in jail, you're in prison, you're not free to leave, you're in custody. They have to protect you. Other than that, there's no duty here to force a mandate. Of course, we don't think on these terms, but you wasn't aware of this new information. This stuff has been out for a long time. I've used it in several of my own court cases. I've made the issue. Stop and think about what we're saying, ladies and gentlemen. There is so much out here that is a scam. And it's all about revenue on their side of the fence. Think about how you can use this. Think about how and what this implies. Because in these school shootings, the parents are sitting down saying, why, why didn't the government, why didn't they get, they don't have to. They're not required. They are not required to get involved. There's no duty. The courts have ruled this time and time again. And if you stop and think about what I'm sitting here saying and you apply this to general purposes out here, it tells you how much of a scam they've ran on the American people and how they have abused their society in order to funnel money to get you to hire an attorney in order to keep this covered up. And these attorneys know this. Don't think that they don't. They are aware of this. They're fully aware of this. But they don't want to bring it up because if they brought it up, this would ruin the scam that's being ran on the American people. It's your imagination that stops you from thinking any and further beyond your little box, your imagination. Because when you can go back and read what they're sitting here saying, even though you're on school campus, we don't have no duty to protect you. If you get shot down, that's your problem. You have a right to self-defense. And they're trying to deny that. And what's Biden is people are trying to do? Take away your Second Amendment right, knowing that these Supreme Court rulings says there's no duty. I'm not going to get into a long, elaborate conversation here. I just want to make this short, sweet. I want you to give us some serious thought about loved ones sitting in jail. This now brings up a lawsuit against the system. for your ability to be able to defend or protect or help someone else. If there's no duty on your side, then I've got to duty. That's why they made these laws. The, the Florida law, let's go back here and look at what, see what Florida has. Actually, I believe it's called make my day law, but let's go back here and see what Florida has.
Florida statute. No retreat. Home protection used or threatened use of deadly force, presumption of fear, death, or greatly bodily harm, justifiable use of force. There's Florida's law. You go through the different state they all have. And the courts aren't allowing this because there's money to be made to disarm you, to make you a victim to all these rioters and looters and all this violence. You're not allowed to protect yourself, but we don't have an obligation, so you've got to allow us to do whatever we want to you. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm showing you their laws. I'm showing you their own regulations. You have a right to defend. You're in fear of your life. You can take these, they take these people down. That's the same with whoever comes on your property. If they can't provide an oath of office, they can't provide an insurance policy. You don't know who they are. Well, I'm from the government. But show me. Show me your oath. Show me your insurance policy. Show me your bond. Show me your license. Otherwise, I'm in <laughs> fear of my life that you're here to kidnap a family member. Well, we don't. Yes, you do. You have no duty to protect. You got no obligation to protect. So obviously you're here to harm and to kidnap. Because who do you have in custody at this point in time that you're trying to protect from me? Who do you have in custody? I can think of it that way. A lot of things we're not thinking of, ladies and gentlemen. A lot of things. They only have a duty to protect somebody who is in custody, not who is not in custody. Is the state in your custody? Is the state in your custody? Show me the state. Think about it, ladies and gentlemen. This is just going to be a short one. Just give it some thought. Think outside the box. Thank you.